Hi viewers, so in O level and IGCC mathematics, today we have the topic in algebra linear programming. So this is the part one of that. So we shall have three inequalities which we have to plot on the graph paper. Three inequalities, one is x is greater than two, one is y is less than or equal to six, and one is y is greater than or equal to x. So now we'll have the axis on which we will draw this. So these are the axis and these are the labeling of the grids. Uh, to show these three inequalities, first we will draw the straight lines with the equation x is equal to 2, y is equal to 6 and y is equal to x. So first of all, uh, the line x is equal to 2, the blue one x is equal to is a vertical line which is passing through the point 2. So this will be this line. Second one, the green one y is equal to 6. It's a horizontal line which is passing the y axis at 6. So it is this one. And the third one y is equal to, sorry, y is equal to y is equal to x. As we know, it's a straight line which is passing through the region and the point 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3. So it will be like this. So this is y is equal to x. And this is y is equal to 6. And this vertical line is x is equal to 2. So now according to the inequalities, we will shade the unwanted region. So remember, we will shade the unwanted region, which is not required. So first inequality x greater than 2, which is related to this straight line. So since this is not having equal sign, so this line will be broken. So I shall make this line broken. So it is. Now since it is greater than 2, it means the region which is on the right side of this line is the required region which is satisfying this inequality. So this is the wanted region. So this is the wanted and this one is unwanted region. Unwanted region. So it means we will shade this part of the region. Shading we can do like this. And then the next one is x is less than or equal to 6. So since there is equal sign, so this line will be dark or bold. And the wanted region, since this is less than, so the region which is below this line is the wanted. And the region which is above this is unwanted. So we'll share the unwanted region. Like this. And then the third and the last inequality is y is greater than or equal to 6. So for this, greater means the upper part, the region above the line. So upper part is this, so this is the wanted. And the lower part is the unwanted region. So we'll shade the unwanted region. So overall, if we see, then the region which is unshaded is this triangle. So this is our wanted region. So this one we will label with the letter R. This is the wanted region. Uh, that means that this region is satisfying all the three inequalities. And remember, in this region, this dark line is included. Every point on this line is included. Every point on the orange line is included, but not on this blue line. So the point which is inside of this dotted line is included, but on the line is not included. Okay, then the linear programming part of this question. I will write here. If it is asked that find the maximum value of x plus y, where x and y are integers. So this means that in this region, we'll choose those integer points where the sum of x plus y will be 
maximum. So for the maximum, remember that we will go to the extreme right and extreme top point. So according to the situation, extreme right and top point is this point. And this point is on the dark line, which means we can consider this point. So this will definitely give us the maximum value of x plus y because it is on the right and top position of this region. So this point has the coordinates x is 6 and y is 6. So this means this will be equal to x is 6 and y is 6. So the maximum value of x plus y will be 12. So this is the use of graphs in the linear programming using the inequalities. Similar, if it is asked to find the minimum value of x plus y, like this is minimum. So the minimum value of x plus y, for the minimum we use the extreme left and the bottom point. So here in this situation, if you see, we have this point but this point is at the bottom and but we cannot take because it is on the broken line so it is not included in this region so we have to take then some other point which is at the bottom but it is in the region <coughs> this point is bottom but it's not in the region because it is also on the broken line but this point is in the region because you know on the dark line and it is bottom and it is on the left so there is no integer point on the left this one so it means this is the point which we can take for the minimum value so it has the coordinates 3 comma 3 so it means minimum value of x plus y will be equal to 3 plus 3 which is equal to 6 so this is the way how to find the extreme values of some expression by using the linear programming method. Thank you. Uh, one more thing, remember that the integer points which are satisfying all these inequalities, which means they are in this region, if I mark, it will make easy for you for any question different than this. So as we know that we marked this point, this is in this region, this point is in this region, uh, this point is in this region, this one, and then, so these are the points which are integers and they are in the region. Remember the point, this one, this, 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 and this, this are, these are not in the region because this is on the broken line. And all other points which are inside we have already considered. And for the maximum, we have considered this point because it is on the extreme right and the top. If you check the other points value x plus y, you will see that those will be smaller than the value of this point. And similarly, for the minimum, we have taken the bottom one and to the left point. So this is at the bottom and to the left, this point which will give us the minimum value. Okay, thank you.